Hey, there are two dates on this painting. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. This painting isn't finished. Well, it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. Coup de Rolls by Paul Rubens. I'm trying to avoid using my skills. I have a, I have a four number, four digit number. 1,191. So... History of the First Crusades by Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Strange. All the dates are all wrong. They indicate events that took place in the year 5000. Yeah, something? you have to convert. Wait, did I miss something? The famous call of Pope Urban II. Twenty years after the capture of Jerusalem from the Arabs by the Turks. Urban II convened the council. He promises a plenary indulgence to Christians who go and get Jerusalem back from the Turks. The result, the Jewish community on the road to Jerusalem found itself persecuted for no reason. 12,000 Jews would perish, mm. not to mention the massacre of Ma'ara, where acts of cannibalism by Frankish crusaders were reported, or even the capture of Jerusalem, where approximately 30,000 were left dead. It signaled the beginning of centuries of wars of religion, Second Crusade. Or how Louis VII, King of France, eager to be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Vitry, convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result? In Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community. And a monumental fiasco by poor Louis VII, cuckolded by his wife's uncle. The famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bowl of 5,187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint-Jean-d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5,190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. Put it down for right now. Let me try 1,191 and just see. Because it was 1,991, right? William Alexander Mortimer I, the 12th month of Anna Lucis, 5,190. That's a funny date. Dates calculated in Analusis. Twelfth month is February? So that makes makes it February 1191. February 1191. Lower the lower. There we go. Nice. Says me. <laughs> nice, worth the. That was worth the uh, Carmelite water, definitely. Whew! All these skills that can make things so much easier for you. I like that. I like that the game can reward you that way. Okay, more royal water. <laughs> New area. I can get more stuff, more items, hopefully. Gotta watch, look at this thoroughly. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Mortimer. Yeah, we're gonna find out Lord Mortimer was the, was the murderer. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible. Um, man, I overslept. I should have set up an alarm. How much did I miss? Oh, sorry, Pukenpeto Kiss. Well, we're we're still playing, playing strong, so welcome to the live stream. I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The, the Charina Catherine who has every intention of supporting the court of province and will recognize him as the regent of the kingdom of France. Once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage, I'm sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, Elfried Bauer. 
Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead and set down. I am to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Costine and the Army of the North. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris, as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably, and it is impossible for me to not to intervene. Should you have any missives to give to me, I invite you to go to go by, as per usual, our friend Monsieur Perrault. Sincerely yours, Charles Francois de Moriez, General of the Army of the North. Devil's Thorn. I don't need Devil's Thorn. Can I just convert all these Devil's Thorns and all these um, golden elixirs to royal jellies, please? My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for information. You need not to worry about any scheme against us from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. McCartney, will leave with no hope of any arrangement involving us. Your friend, Queen Log, Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. <sighs> All these things that I don't need. Where's my royal jelly? Dear Lord Mortimer, I'm writing you to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on a national level and not allow every state to choose their policy regarding slaves. It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters. And unable to find any slaves on the run, they kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. The situation threatens to quickly degenerate. Thank you in advance, your friend John Adams. Say hello to my daughter Elizabeth for me. My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. My printing house has been confiscated, and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schlizelberg. If by any chance you could intervene in my favor, I would be eternally in your debt. The Theresa Catherine should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from her territory. Our horizon has become considerably darker. In the hope that you help can help me, your friend Nikolai, Nikolai Novikov. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. No doubt with slaves. Mm -hmm. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. It shows the forces present in Africa. Hmm. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. Hmm. Yes, finally. For royal jelly. Make the other ones royal jelly too, please. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. Hmm. Shepherd. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. The author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? Hmm. I just got a trait, the shepherd. The shepherd. You gain one point in manipulation. Yes, manipulation. You read the book about the weaknesses of human psychology in Lord Mortimer's secret study. Okay. The gift has been delivered. Timur Shah Durrani, King of Afghanistan, of Punjab, of Sindh, of Mashhad, and of Kashmir, should not retain his title much longer. His son, Zaman, will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. K. Um, it's a map of the Americans. This shows the forces present in America. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Hmm. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? You've got some explaining to do, Mr. Mortimer. I had my suspicions. 
My dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered and help in a fight against the Spanish in the conquest of Iran, a ship bound for Marseilles in France has been charted. Hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with a plague that is decimating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful in handling these boxes because if inadvertently opened, you risk spreading the disease all over France. Mohabit El Kebir. Wow. What? My dear friend, as desired, I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonweed Agreement. If you recall the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find and close a list of my colleagues, Leonard Bleeker, 16 Wall Street, Hugh Smith, Tontine Coffee House, Armstrong and Barnewall, 58 Broad Street, Samuel March, 243 Queen Street, Andrew D. Barclay, 136 Pearl Street, Benjamin Sakes, 8 Hanover Square, John Henry, 13 Duke Street, John Bush, 195 Water Street, David Reedy, 58 Wall Street. Thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as, you as soon as possible, Hugh Smith. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip of Europe, or grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear France. Don't think you can resist for long. I beseech you, William, not to persist. You are tearing our family apart. You love you loving brother, you loving brother, G. P.S. I shall come to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive? Shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. Twenty-six million. Mm. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. It looks like a campaign is being prepared in France in favor of Italy. Could Mortimer have decided to finance a war? Mm, that is lots of incriminating things in this room. I already looked at this. My dear friend, thank you for your words and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily. But if the situation obliges me to declare war, then do what you see fit. Under the in your advisement, and with a weary heart, I am off to meet up with the coalition that opposes you. In the hope of serving you again, George, King of Hanover, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. I'm down to my last royal jelly. Ooh, maybe there's more in here. There's a lot of things to grab in here. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. And it seems the type to be organizing little pagan parties, mm -hmm. invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. Mm -hmm. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Hmm. Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Read the draw. It is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Hmm. I wonder how many super history buffs have played this. It would be interesting to see their reaction to this interpretation of a slightly alternate history. I think so too. I would love to see that. I think Jesse Cox used to be a teacher, but he only did like a fan Friday of this and not a full playthrough. Why is Louis imagining Mortimer dancing naked under the moon? Yes. Is there any reason to question that? Any reason? Something huh. strange about this table. The little surgeon's perfect collection. I have to be careful, like my I'm spending points left and right. Discovered immunity. He's immune to science. Inventory to human corpus fabrica. Preservation using formaldehyde. Hmm. Just as disgusting as ever. Trying to save my points. Dear Lord Mortimer, as agreed, I have changed your old lock for one of my invention. 
drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. G guillotine. Oh, the guy who invented the guillotine. Here's the model of your new lock, if you appreciate my prototype. It is difficult to imagine how it all fits together, but it will be located in the middle of the present door. The aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a bit of spice. Depending on the lineup of the wheels, the aforementioned lock will open, or will punish the snooper whose faith is not strong enough. Oh, so if I had pulled the lever and I was wrong, something would have happened to me? I called my invention the judgment of faith, because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, they will be punished. Is a big giant, like, blade, was a big blade gonna fall from the ceiling and cut off my, oh, goodness gravy. I hope you appreciate the irony of the situation. Gustave Montrat, must, must, ah, the master architect. Oh my. A skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Gustav. Morbid has given a name to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. That is oh, morbid. The right hand is missing. Oh, interesting. It's feathers. Pigeon, probably. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. And two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. Mm. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cube fascinating. Mm -hmm. it looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. The skeleton is missing a hand. I guess he was a victim of the trap. Oh my. Oh my. I'm glad I got it on the first try. Dear friend, who is the most admirable of all the Olympians? None other than the king of the gods, of course. Unlike his father, Kronos, he learned to make equal use of his strength and wisdom. Instead of fearing the power of his children and brothers, he accepted to share the world with, with them. Men fear his thunder and praise his justice. He reigns, but he doesn't dominate. Is he talking about Zeus? Because Zeus was the son of Kronos, I believe. I believe. Hmm. Or the... That must be for writing the home pigeon messages. Whoa. Iron An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. Oh, my. Good, I need some more caramelite water. Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion. As agreed, in the Vende peasantry will soon rise will ri soon rise up. My network is striving to increase the pressure on the masses. The decision of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is inflaming the region. The people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear loyalty to the state. If you will, could ensure that the convention will administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing to direct you, a forced recruitment for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people indefinite, definitively. Your devoted servant, Francois Athanase Charette de la Contrie. Hmm. Key with the cult of the fire symbol. Oh. Wait, I don't think we've found the fire symbol chest yet. A chest with a motif representing. Oh, well, here's of one of them. Use the left key. I need to get another key. Okay. Thank you. I needed more royal jelly. Thank you. My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Coinage Act has been voted. Your project of founding the very first Bank of America should not be delayed and will probably be called Union Bank. As for the construction of the White House, it will die to begin in October. It is still died to begin in October. I will accept no delays, so you can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. Jefferson. Am I seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Yeah. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. Wow. Discovered immunity, science. Yeah, I really knew that, though. Conviction and science. He's immune to conviction and science. Three rusty old nails. Wow, rusty? They're about 20 centimeters long. I don't like the look of that. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. 
Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Travancore and personally cut the throats of as many Englishmen as possible, though, without help from the French. I cannot hold them off longer, much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us, Tipu Sahib, Sultan of Mysore. Something strange about this table. Look at the... examine the equipment. What kind of experiments does Mortimer carry out here? I don't know. It's a dissection table. So Mortimer does autopsies. Here in his desert... That is room. creepy. Who is he doing autopsies on then? Mm. Science... Science and conviction. It's, it's science and conviction. Oh, Mortimer. What have you been up to? Just gonna pop that in there. This, I'm still... Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. But two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. I mean, yeah, but he doesn't know what it no says. What's underneath. I think the alternate I history... I have no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. I think the alternate history could actually be intriguing to a history buff as long as it's consistent. However, I'm pretty sure some things like the characters' out outfits are all over the place, and not to mention their accents. The dates of some of the paintings might be too, so I guess a history buff playing this would still be triggered no matter what, probably. I do wonder what Mortimer is vulnerable to. I assume even as not a history buff, most players would be like, why does Louis not have a French accent? I assume as the ultimate villain, maybe final boss, I would be surprised if he didn't have any weaknesses or if he didn't find it. Like in the last episode, way later in the game. Yeah. Lord Mortimer. A brain. Using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. I think I've searched everything. I think I've I've found everything in his study. Except for his globe in the center. Let us see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. The sword. A decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. All right. The only, the one thing I do have a problem with is that is that while the game looks good, the character models don't and don't really fit in how the world looks. To be honest, I know some people had complaints about the graphics of the game, um, but I don't think that's what you're necessarily saying, Evan. You're saying more go find your mother. Oh, am I gonna actually find my mother? It's locked. It's locked. I think what you're saying is. Um, Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. Inception. And goes on. There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. Hmm. The author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? A skeleton? A skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by, Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. Oh, his right hand is missing. Yeah. Oh, shit. How am I going to get out of here now? Yeah, um, if it closes, if it locks behind you... Oh. So. It's backwards. Right? So it has to be six. Right? Because that's one. One, two, three, four, 
five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. That's one, and then nine. Oh, one, one. One, one, and then this one's nine. Nine, one, because that's what it's going to be on the other side. Don't cut off my hand, don't cut off my hand, don't cut off my hand, don't cut off my hand. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Think about the shape of the cylinders. Think about the lock. I mean, I, I. You only live once. Don't kill me. Whoa, whoa! The grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date. I, I better not mess up again. It doesn't seem to be working. I thought I have it right. Right? I thought I had this right. One one. Like Do I have the date wrong? As the one on the other side. Why does that look like an... Oh, it's because that's what confused me, is that it's upside down. Right. That's what confused me. Um, because that's... It's upside down. That's why I was confused. Three, four, five, six. Yes. So this is one. That's what confused me. So one, two, three, four, five that's six it's just upside down because it's a nine okay that's is what was confusing me because i was like it should be what so that's nine which is six and then um so here again this is one so that's one two three four five that's six and then for nine that's why i got it wrong Hold on. Oh no 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 no! Go back, go back. I was it's like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. No no no! I don't want to. I don't want to. No no! Move away. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Good lord! This. It's so easy to misclick something in this sequence. Okay. So I want um, it to be nine. Seven, eight, nine. So that's nine, even though it looks like a six, but it's upside down. So one, two, three, four, five. And then. No, go back. Go back. That's a nine. One, two, three, four, five. Then here, that's. One, so one, two, three, four, five. That's what it should be, I think. So, all right, I think that's right. If I understand how this is supposed to be working. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Yeah. So. It looks like the same as the one on the other side. Yeah, lower the lever. This should be it. Thank you. Thank you. I was like, that should be it. Okay. Woo! Got that. I didn't want to have my... I didn't want to have my neck chopped off. Big giant guillotine. I still feel like a big giant guillotine would come down and chop off my head. The master of escape. Yes. Um... The master of escape. Gain one point of subterfuge. You got Mortimer's secret. You got out of Mortimer's secret study by yourself. Find out the origin of the sword left by your mother. All right. The nightmare. Success. I met Manuel Godoy. I got some information out of von von, von Volner. I found the nightmare that my mother mentioned. I got to know Waldo. I found a way of getting into the secret study. I got out of Mortimer's secret study without any trouble. Alternate paths, I could have met Peru under strange circumstances. Strange circumstances. 